Fashion Week in New York City. It's got glamour, models, A-list celebrities. And for one 66-year-old woman, the lucky break that would transform her life. Six years ago, the lover of fashion and social justice professor Lynn Slater was waiting for a friend at Lincoln Center when suddenly she found herself center stage. Photographers mistook her for a famous model and started snapping photos. My friend comes upon this scene and she's laughing, of course. You're an accidental icon. And Lynn's brand was born. Accidental Icon is now the name of her fashion blog, and her brand extends to her Instagram account, where she has more than 700,000 followers. The majority of my followers are 25 to 35. Lynn's been signed to multiple national campaigns. I decided to retire from my teaching job after 20 years. And today, Lynn continues to inspire proving that finding your passion and doing something you love is always attainable, no matter your age. I want people to know that you do not have to accept the box that society puts you in. Reinvent yourself the way that you want to be. You don't have to no. accept the box. I love that, Lynn. That's right. Talk How about you? the reinvention. And I think people sitting at home may think, I'm not, well, I don't have this kind of cool style. But talk about your personal journey. Well, I think I've always been someone who's been a lifelong learner. I've always changed. I get bored very easily. So when I was thinking about doing Accidental Icon, I had been taking continuing ed courses mm. at the Fashion Institute of Technology, mm -hmm. which is very different than my field. Mm -hmm. Well, you're fashionable. You had to have been, I was gonna say, before this moment, because you've got, you've got it going yes. on. But I think a lot of people might be fearful for so many reasons. Financial reasons, like, can I do it? What if I fail? You know, the, the world is sometimes biased against people of a certain age. Like, what, how did you overcome those obstacles? Well, I think I've never allowed um, categories or yes. boxes to define me. But one of, here's a very simple trick. Uh, one of the very, um, one of my signatures is I often wear sunglasses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I wear them because until Accidental Icon, I never let people take my picture. Oh. And I'm actually kind of an introvert. So in order for me to do it, I wore sunglasses, Aww. which allowed me to feel safe to take the risk. Oh, that's interesting. Gosh. It is yeah. cool. Now, for people at home that may be interested in taking a risk, is it worth it? It's completely worth it. And I think I did it safely because I did it, I still was a full-time professor mm -hmm. until recently, mm -hmm. and I did it in a transitional way. Mm -hmm. Right. So you talk all about, you're not a stylist, but you do have this method in helping people figure out what they look best in. Right. And it's called identity-driven style. Explain what this means. So I think so much of the world today, we're looking outward, and we're looking at others, and we're looking on Instagram, and right. that actually creates distance between who we are inside well, we, mm -hmm. can we, we have a couple of women yes. Lynn, who we'd like to introduce you to. They're trying to discover their personal style. They took Lynn's advice. They identified three words that best describes themselves, and then they went shopping, mm -hmm. and they're here to show off their new looks. Okay, so first we have Fran, a 55-year-old mother of two who says she always puts her family needs before her own, and she feels like she's lost her sense of style. She's tired of wearing the same thing every day. Fran's three words, which is what you asked them to do to describe herself, are sharp, fun, and classic. Okay, Fran. Oh, let's I'm your so look. Fran. Come on out. I love this. Woo. It's beautiful. Look, what do you think? So I think that embodies every single one of her words. Yes. Okay. Do you feel good just standing there in this? I do. Don't you? You I can do. tell. I'm, it's very exciting. You look and twinkly. And do you feel happy. like you figured out your whole new yeah. style? I yeah. think I have a style. Yeah, now. yeah. I think I have a style, which By the way, is really that's fun. That's profound. Seriously. Too. All right, next up, Jessica. She's a 38-year-old mother of two who works from home. Her closet is full of black, and she's guilty of wearing nothing but workout clothes. Three words that Jessica used to describe herself: confident, comfy, and edgy. Jessica, come on out. Wow. Oh, yeah. 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 Looks that good. Looks great. Spot on, right? Yeah, it works. And how, how do you feel?
feel in this in this outfit, hon? You look great. I feel amazing. I, I've never actually owned a white collared shirt in my life. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my first one, but I do. I feel comfy, I feel confident, and I have the moto jacket. And the moto for jacket edgy. is all you, right? By the way, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Lynn, thank Lynn, you. It's You're such, such a good an idea. Thank, thank you so much. Okay, thanks, thanks to Lynn and Jessica and Fran and to Jay Crew for providing the outfits. For more on Lynn's inspiring story, head to hodaandjenna.com.